Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. Today, we have traveled to the Homestead Miami Speedway for the Homestead 80. This is going to be race number 35 in the More Freedom Series, season four. And with only four races, or I'm sorry, two races left to go in the season, let's go through your current top 10 in points. Your points leader is the double zero of Mudbone. Second place is going to be the 20 of Adam B5000. Third will be the 25 of JTM. Fourth will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Fifth will be the 72 of Duchess. Sixth will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Seventh will be the 49 of Jetman. Eighth will be the 96 of Nico. Ninth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. And rounding out your top 10, a very much a surprise, the 999 of Deviant. Also, let's talk about those points as we go into these final two races. You're looking at the points here on your screen, and you see Mudbone, Adam, and JTM, one, two, and three right now. Those are your three drivers that can still win this championship. Mudbone is sitting in the catbird seat. He is currently 72 points up on Adam, and he's 271 points up on JTM. It's going to take a lot for JTM to win this championship, being 271 points out. He has to do a lot of things right in the next two races to pull this off, but we're going to see if he can do that here today. But the, the closest one right now is Adam B5000. He Again, only 72 points out of first position behind Mudbone. Adam has had a fantastic year this year for Elliott Motorsports. He's got, I think, three wins on the season, two or three wins on the season and has kept himself in that top 10 for most of the year and has been battling these last handful, you know, dozen, half dozen, half dozen races at least with a double zero of Mudbone for that top spot. Last couple races, he has narrowed that gap down to 72 points. Last week's finish was very, very good for Adam. He finished ahead of Mudbone and was able to, I think, all... Cut it almost in half in the points. So we're going to see what he can do here today. But those are your three drivers to watch today. It's going to be the double zero Mudbone, your points leader, the 20 of Adam B5000, and the 25 of JTM. Those are your three drivers, the final three in this season that could win this championship as we see Mudbone go across the start finish line right there. Uh, so yeah, I'm a super excited. Let's also check in right now on your team and chassis standings. After his win last week, JTM catapulted MBR to the lead of the team standings. Second's going to be Douche Motorsports. Third will be Amish Buggy Racing. Fourth will be Aces to Zed Motorsports. And rounding out the top five will be the Drop Bear Racing Team. Chassis standings are Dodge, Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. So that's a look at all things points for this homestead 80 it is going to be an amazing last two races of the season here today or here in the more freedom series season four i'm i'm so excited about this this is another great year for the more freedom series it's going to come down to the last two races to crown our champion last season was the last race with three people who could have won it and with G3 pulling out that victory at Talladega and winning the championship last year was an amazing run for her as well. Mudbone will be going for win number six today. JTM for win number two. And I think Adam for win number three or four. So they're getting these cars dialed in. The crowd's already here. They're already piled into the stand. So I think it's about time. So let's go racing. As they get these cars fired up, let's go through your starting top 10. Starting on the pole will be the 25 of JTM, and on his outside, the 13 of King of the Aces. Starting third will be the 10 of Scooter, and on his outside, the 3 of Geek Girl Games. Starting fifth will be the 660 of Garrett Miller, and on his outside, the 20 of Adam B5000. Starting seventh will be the 777 of Seabass, and on his outside, the 88 of NM. Starting ninth will be the 799 of Mike Check, and rounding out your top 10, will be the 96 of Nico. So that's a look at your starting top 10 today for this Homestead 80. And JTM has put the Sonic Dodge back on the pole again here today at Homestead after his amazing win last week at Indy. He is absolutely doing everything he can here to 
put himself into the championship mix. He is on the very outside. Just he needs a win here today. He needs all those things to go right to pull off this championship. And he is starting out today on the pole with King on the outside and Scooter behind him. So we're going to see if JTM's car and his team, most importantly, I would say the MBR pit crew has enough to keep JTM in the lead as that beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car pulls off. We're coming down the front stretch. JTM is leading us down. Green flag is out. We're underway here at the Homestead 80. So JTM leads us down into turn one with Scooter right behind him. He's going to get a jump on the 13 and King of the Aces. Scooter right to the back bumper of the, the 25 at JTM. We're going to see if there's any kind of drafting here at Homestead as Scooter is now working to the back bumper of that 25 at JTM. JTM not able to break away here. As we see the 660 of Garrett Miller moving into the third position. Here comes the 777 of Seabass. So JTM with a great run off of turn four right there. Make it a little bit of a lead here on lap number one. He does cross the stripe as the leader, so he is going to get those all important, very, very important five bonus points. So let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on your left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top as JTM's car looks hooked up here today at Homestead. We see a battle right now between the 777 of Seabass, actually a 20 of Adam B5000 and the three of Geek Girl Games, so this is going to be for the sixth position right now. So Adam trying to work himself into the sixth position as your points leader. The double zero Mudbone currently runs in the 29th position here today as G3 shuts the door right there on the th uh, on the 20 of Adam B5000. We do have a caution on the track, folks. Caution on the track. Catch up to that beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car. We'll see your leader, the 25 at JTM. As he leads us down the back stretch, he's going to catch up to that pace car here on lap number three, I do believe. I'm going to see what brought out that caution in just a moment. JTM is opting to take the pits here, so he is not going to restart as your leader. So we're going to see what that MBR pit crew has for the 25 at JTM today maybe ran over some debris not sure get in get those tires changed maybe get some fuel here on lap number three we got 54 laps of action here today at homestead not green flag because we're under caution right now we do see several drivers are staying out looks like the 49 of Jetman. actually about half the field it looks like is staying out so our ooh, looks like the 95 of zed brunna the pink panther was involved in whatever happened We'll see what that was in just a moment as we watch the 25 of JTM come down to the end of pit road into his pit stall. Looks like fuel only for the 25, so just trying to get two or three extra laps out of that car. So we'll jump back up to the front of this field. If I hit the right button, we will jump back up to the front of this field. And we'll see ten, the 10 of Scooter as your leader. Let's see what brought out that caution. Well, this caution is going to be brought out by four wide racing between the 40, the, the 29, the 95, the 544, multiple cars right here. Let's watch this caution happen. You see the 29 and the 40 make contact, and the 329 of Heck of a Duber goes over. As a result, he's able to just continue on, but that caution involves those three drivers. Let's watch this thing again from the roof cam of the 07 at Douche Baggins. And finally, from the roof cam of the 23 at Fuller Than You. Let's go through your current top 10. Your leader is the 10 of Scooter. Second is going to be the 13 of King of the Aces. Third will be the 777 of Seabass. Fourth will be the 3 of Geek Girl Games. Fifth will be the 34 of Super Snake. Sixth will be the 49 of Jetman. Seventh will be the 211 of Hogs. Eighth will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Ninth will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 07 of Douche Baggins. 
JTM is the first of those that have pitted, and he is now in the 11th position. Second place in point. Let's see, your points leader, the double zero Mudbone, currently resides in 25th. The 20 of Adam B5000, second place in points, currently resides in the 17th position. So if JTM's going to win this, he's got a long row to hoe here as he's going to be starting in the 11th position on this restart. He's going to have a few laps more of fuel, but we're going to see if that makes a difference as we come down the stretch here. Uh, the Scooter is going to be bringing us down to take the green flag here today. He's looking for another win here in the More Freedom Series in his rookie season. Uh, hasn't done too, like I said, he hasn't done too bad this year. Maybe I didn't say that. I thought it, at least. Uh, he hasn't done too bad. He was top 15 most of the year, currently running 17th in points, looking to get back into the top 10. He's going to be leading us down to take the green flag with Kodo on his outside and Seabass right behind him in that triple seven for Amash Buggy Racing. Green flag's out. We're back underway here at Homestead. Scooter gets an amazing jump there on the 13 at King of the Aces, followed right along with a triple seven that his teammate, uh, uh, Seabass's teammate, the 34 of Super Snake, and the 211 of Hogs. So uh, Scooter working down the backstretch. Super Snake and Seabass may be going three wide right now. They are going three wide, so is Super Snake down to the inside of his teammate, the triple seven of Seabass. Coda falling back right here as we see the 25 of JTM off the pace. He got bumped by the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. That could have been a season ender right there for the 25 of JTM. At three wide with the 13 and the 71 and the 25. The 71 gave a bump to the 25, not knowing he was on his inside. So that could have been devastating, devastating to the 25 at JTM. As we watch the, the 10 of Scooter, still your leader right now. We're here on lap number eight, as we're working towards halfway, all important halfway bonus, those five bonus points could mean the season for the 25 at JTM, the 20 of Adam B5000, as they are battling to try to win this championship with the double zero of Mudbone, who has now moved up all the way up to 21st. So Mudbone is battling hard in the back of the pack as we watch your leader, the 10 of Scooter. 71 of Kung Fu Beer now working around, has worked around the 211 of Hogs as the 25 of JTM down to his inside right now. He's, he works down the front stretch. The three of Geek Girl Games, I think, will probably jump down to the inside to the low line here on the 211. She does do that. JTM up to the fifth position now after this restart. He's right there to the back bumper of the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Down into turn three. He jumps down to the inside. He gets a good run on the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. He is... I, I just have a feeling he's going to be working that he's going to be working that car as hard as he can, but not so hard that he burns up all of his tires to try to get back to the front of this field. As we see that ten of scooter still your leader, and he's followed by two Amish buggy racing vehicles, the thirty four of Super Snake with the Magnum Research and the triple seven of Sea Bass with the Twitch sponsorship. So we got Dodges lined up two three, two, three, and four right now with the triple seven, the 34, and the 25. Got a Chevy on the point with the 34 of Super, or I'm sorry, the 10 of Scooter. Good looking, you beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenge pace car. Uh, as we see Super Snake, I'm not sure if he's going to make try to make this pass. Looks like JTM's getting a little bit squirrely back there, get a little, get a little fired up. As we work into turn, work off a of turn two, headed for the back stretch. So Super Snake kind of content right now to ride here in the second position. We're going to see if JTM is also content to ride in that in the fourth position or if he's going to try to make a run to the front of this field as it's nose to tail for first through fourth. Seabass a little bit off the pace right there. We saw Seabass get a little squirrely down into off of turn four. JTM not able to take advantage of that. So JTM, as the laps tick down, 41 to go. 
with the tennis scooter as your leader right now. The 34 Super Snake does try it here. He thought about it, but the tennis scooter scooter shuts the door on the 34 of Super Snake. That allows the 25 of JTM to work down to the inside of the triple seven of Seabass. So JTM does on that lap, I do believe he will take away the third position as we see the 71 of Kung Fu Beer and the 211 of Hogs getting ready to start following with him. So KFB taking advantage of that pass by the 25 of JTM down to the inside of the triple seven of Seabass. KFB, who has definitely has had a rough few races here, uh, has fallen back to the 19th, or I'm sorry, um, 21st in points. He was actually up to top 15 himself and his teammate, the vet, both 19th and 20th, respectively. I'm sorry, 19th and 21st. So KFB is looking to try to finish the year on a high note. Maybe pull out a win here today at Homestead, as we do see the 25 of JTM has now passed. The 34 is Super Snake, and he set his sights on the leader, the 10 of Scooter. So Scooter having led 12 laps here today. As JTM is able to make that pass on him, kind of with ease. But I think a little bit of that draft help by the 34 of Super Snake was kind of the difference there as he shuts the door on the 34 of Super Snake. So Super Snake... <laughs> I think he was, you know, like, get up there, maybe make the pass for the lead. Uh, Super Snake gets that door shut on him by the 25 of JTM as they head down the back stretch into three and four. So Super Snake back into the second position. JTM back to your lead here at Homestead. He is, he's going to need to make up a few laps here. He has eight laps that he needs to lead to surpass Scooter as the total lap led, you know, for the highest, the most laps led. There we go. Just my brain wasn't working there for a second. Uh, so he's got to lead eight more, nine more laps basically for him to surpass the 34 or the 10 of Scooter. As we see, Scooter has now dropped into the pit. So pit stops are underway for those that didn't pit earlier. So I think we're going to see about three or four laps of the 25 at JTM before he has to take the pits. But he is your leader right now. So we're going to see pit stops happening all over this track as we watch the 211 of Hogs battling it out with the 777 of Seabass and his teammate and car owner right there for the 211, the 07 of Douche Baggins. Who again, no pit stop early on able to move up quite a ways in the standings as a result of that no pit stop. So we do see Scooter is into the pits. Looks like he will go at least one lap down here today. I'm guessing four tire stop for the 10, maybe two tires. So he's gonna be currently one lap down to your leader. The 25 at JTM, I feel like that was an early pit stop for Scooter as we didn't see anybody else in the pits right now. So Scooter, maybe he had a tire going down or short pit to try to possibly, you know, pitch strategy here is an important thing in the More Freedom Series as we've seen, as I think we have a bunch of the other cars ducking in. I think the 34 is ducked in. The 96 of Nico was an early pitter so himself and the 999 of deviant had already pitted so we're going to see two or three laps here between them before they actually hit the pit stops as we do see some dust and debris probably them getting off this track you know homestead is is relatively flat they, it's sort of like a flat track its bankings aren't it's not banked very high and so coming off at going, you know, 160 miles an hour and then trying to get on the brakes and then sliding into that grass. Luckily, they're going in and, and getting into the pits and then getting those dirty tires off. But JTM still continues to lead here over the 96 of Nico and the 799 of Mike Check. So it looks like Deviant did duck into the pits. And here comes your leader, the 25 of JTM, as he gets super squirrely. Trying to get onto that pit road. And
and we do have a yellow flag out as we see the 23 of Fuller Than You on pit road. So the racing gods are not happy with the 25 at JTM. I don't know. They're trying to put the hex on him, it feels like. As he's into his pits, we're going to see what tires they go. Right side tires going onto that 25. Fuel going in. We're going to see. It looks like it's going to be a four-tire stop. So left side tires will be going on. We're going to see if he can beat out. He does. He is going to beat out the the um, pace car. So JTM, your current is not going to beat your leader. We're going to see who is the leader here in just a moment as himself and Mike Check are racing down the backstretch. <laughs> we'll watch this. We're going to catch up to the front of this field. Looks like we do have some takers for pit road. Looks like the three of Geek Girl Games might be your leader here. We'll go ahead and see what brought out this caution. Wrong place at the wrong time for the 23 of Fuller Than You. This is going to be brought out by contact between the 544 and the 8 of Moon Bunny. Uh, let's watch this happen. From the roof cam of your points leader, the double zero of Mudbone. So your points leader, the double zero of Mudbone, you saw that was involved in that accident. He got into the 88 of NM again. I don't know what's up with these cars here today. It looks like they're just having issues with um, getting in and out of the pits, which is a, which is a tough break. Uh, let's go through your current top 10 because your leader is not the three of Geek Girl Games. It actually goes back to the 25 of JTM. So... Your leader is the 25 of JTM. Second's going to be the 799 of Mike Check. Third will be the 300 of Resemble. Fourth will be the 51 of AJM. Fifth will be the 96 of Nico. Sixth will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom after causing that caution. Seventh will be the 72 of Duchess. Eighth will be the 666 of Pistol Pete. Ninth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 203 of, of Signs. So looking at your points leader, the double zero of Mudbone currently runs in the 12th position actually so mudbone up to 12 the 20 b 20 of adam b 5000 runs in the looking for him here in the list he actually runs 14th right now so you saw all those cars fall to the back here with one lap to go those cars that were on the tail end of the lead lap will fall back they're actually going to lose a lap as a result of that but you know, that's that's our rules here this season in the More Freedom Series. So JTM back out to the point. He doesn't have to deal with those end, end of the last cars on the lead lap as we race towards the end of this race. So JTM, if he can hold out, he is going to get those five bonus points for leading at halfway. He's very close right now. Uh, he needs to get make it to lap 27 and as the leader, and we'll get those very 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 important five bonus points here today as you watch him making the separation getting two by two jtm gonna be leading us down to this green flag that beautiful orange and black dodge challenger pace car about ready to duck in we're gonna see what kind of pitch strategy these folks have for the rest of the way as we're so close to halfway, I think we got one more stop to go. JTM leading us down very, very slow. Green flag's out. They're underway. Mike Check with a great jump. He's going to cross the line ahead of the 25 of JTM. So Mike Check with a great jump almost shuts the door on the 25. Unable to do that. And he is going to slide to the outside. JTM and him bump a little bit as JTM working as hard as he can in the 25 Sonic Dodge. He is going to take back over the lead from the 799 of Mike Check. So Mike Check 
with a cheeky move right there, able to get the jump, get across the line, get a lap led, going to get himself five bonus points. Thankfully, that was not halfway for JTM because Mike would have got those 10 bonus points. So JTM still has not led the most laps yet. Uh, he's got a, fuel, a full tank of gas, four fresh tires. We're going to see what he can do with this 25 as we watch the 96 of Nico worked into the third position around the 300 of Resemble. And his teammate, the 51 of AJM right there. So we got the 25 88s except for the 88 of NM who is currently running 19th as a result of that caution all up in the top 10. Again, this is not just a battle for the team, the points championship for JTM, Adam, and Mudbone. This is also a battle for the team championship with MBR and Douche Motorsports as we watch the 51 of AGM for MBR and the 72 of Duchess for Douche Motorsports. Duchess is currently running fifth in the in the standings, the points, as she is you know, a couple bad races. Again, it's been a rough go for the top 10 the last few weeks as she is trying to work down to the inside of that 51 of AJM. We're going to see if she can get it done here into turn into the turn. The JT or AJM shuts the door on her. As we watch the 96 of Nico working to the back bumper of the 799 of Mike check. Nico finally got another win after his championship run in season two. Uh, hadn't had, he'd been skunked on all of his wins since uh, season two. He didn't get anything in season three. Finally, in season four, he got a win, and I believe that was at Phoenix. So Nico has worked himself into the third position after starting in the 10th position here today, and AJM actually started uh, way back in 27th. So good pitch strategy for the 51 of AJM and MBR. He has now worked up into the top 10 right now. AJM does have two pit stops on the day, as we do see possibly some smoke it looks like the 211 of hogs is in the pits not sure what happened to him we'll hear about it we'll check in on the timing and scoring but we did see some smoke as we watch the 96 of nico down to the inside of the 799 of my check so mbr definitely has their cars hooked up here today as the 96 does work around the 799 of my check for the Drop Bear Racing Team and that Thirsty Camel's Bottle Shop. 799 FM car. But Duchess has not let the 51 of AJM get away, but we still see that 544 Frederick Winklebaum, who did sort of cause that accident early on. He is up here in the top 10. We'll check in on your leader. Let's jump back through the field. Your points leader, that is. As we do see damage on the 203 of signs, I think, maybe a little bit. There's the 666 of Pistol Pete's. There's the 20 of Adam B5000. He currently runs in the 14th position. So the 13 of King of the Aces, who you know ran, started second, is now trying to work himself up into the top 10, maybe back up to the front of this field. We're trying to find your points leader, the double zero Mudbone. He is right here. You do see some damage on the back end of that car, so that's definitely not going to help him here today. Looks like he's also got some damage on the front of that car, so a rough couple weeks for the double zero of Mudbone. You remember last week he had a tire explode and just hit the inside wall last week at Indianapolis, so Mudbone is not having a great, great couple races, which I'm sure is not going to make him happy as he has had an amazing championship run. As we jump back through this field, there is the 25 of JTM. I'm checking in on the 211 of Hogs. It looks like he went out as a result of an accident, so he must have got into it with somebody. Maybe the 49 of Jetman, not sure, because we do see heavy damage on the right-hand side of the 49. Could have been a number, any number of cars that would have caused that. Uh, Scooter, who had a fantastic car early on, has now fallen way back. I think you can see, may, I'm checking for damage on that Coors Light Chevy. I don't see anything. He's just, maybe he does have some front end. Yeah, I can see some front end damage on the 10. As we watch the 25 of JTM, still your leader. Over the 96 of Nico and the 799 of Mike Check. The 72 of Duchess is now past 
the 51 of AJM, and that is for the fourth position. So Douche Motorsports, a couple more points right there in the team championship. But they're going to have to make up a couple positions. They're going to have to try to catch up and pass the 96 of Nico. At least the 799 of Mychek. Duchess will have to do that. Or she, you know, to give her give her team a, just a little bit of a, a chance there in the final race. Because, I mean, it's Talladega. And you don't know what can happen. Like, it's going to be wild and it's going to be insane because it's Talladega. So Mike Check currently runs in the third position with the 96 of Nico in the second position. Your leader still at 25 of JTM. We're going to see where the closest person is. It looks like it's the 49 of Jetman. And he might be going into... I got to see which turn that is. Looks like he is going down the back stretch right now. Oh, he just crossed the stripe. So he's got about half a... He's got about half a straight or half a track on this 25 of JTM, so it's not going to be an issue for the 25. I think right now, catching up to the the tail end of the of the field. 49 of Jetman is a lap down right now, and he does have that damage. So I'm not sure if that was a result of contact with the 211 or not. But we see the car second, third, fourth. Lined up right now, nose to tail almost. The 96 of Nico with the 799 of Mychek and the 72 of Duchess. 51 of AJM. Let's go, actually, let's go through your top 10 right now. So your leader is the 25 of JTM. Second's going to be the 96 of Nico. Third will be the 799 of Mychek. Fourth will be the 72 of Duchess. Fifth will be the 51 of AJM. Sixth will be the 544 of Frederick Winkelbaum. Seventh will be the 300 of Resemble. Eighth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Ninth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 666 of Pistol Pete. So good to see the 40 of Veteran Chaos back into the top 10 right now. He was he was top 10 in points for a while there as we headed down the stretch, but he has fallen way back to 19th. And so good to see him back up here as we do see some pit stops happening. So the 20 of Adam B5000, second in points. Heading into the pits with the 999 of Deviant. We'll try to catch up to your leader. The 25 of JTM. As we got about 15 laps to go. So one final stop here today for all these drivers. The 25 of JTM currently leads by 1.8 seconds over the 96 of Nico and the 799 of Mike Check and the 72 of Duchess. Great looking car. Second season for that livery on the 72 of Duchess. The Harboro Sugarland Shine Chevy for Touche Motorsports. That is a that is a mouthful to say. We'll watch your your, your leader, the 25 of JTM, and see when he decides to duck off into the pits as he's led 25 laps here today. He will have led at halfway. He will have led most likely the most laps, so he does have. He is into the pits. He's got to get slowed down, just like everybody else. That they, I'm just going to say, they need to pave that little strip right there. It would be beneficial towards for everybody. So we're going to see if, ooh, this could be rough. This could be rough, folks. This could be detrimental. You saw it and I saw it. That little scuff of the wall right there by the 25 of JTM. He's into the pits. Three of Geek Girl Games is just sitting there right now. Right side tires going on for your leader, the 25 of JTM. Not sure what's happening with the three of Geek Girl Games. Left side tires look like they're about ready to go on. That fuel is going in. He's got to get that car gassed up as much as he can. He is down. He's away. They didn't try to fix it. If there was any damage, they didn't try to fix it. So the 25 of JTM back out. We're going to see if he keeps the lead here or if anybody sneakily takes it over. Again, he was up by about 1.8 seconds there. So we're going to see if JTM retains your lead as we see the 96 of Nico in, still into the second position. Here comes the 13, a king of the aces. So Coda with an amazing pit stop may have put himself into the top five. 
as he's got to get woed up for the 96 of Nico. So that Adam B5000 is going to make a run for the third position, I think. I think they could be a lap down. Not sure. They could be your leaders. Not sure. So there's the 25 of JTM. He's coming out of the he's coming down the back stretch. And actually the 799 of Mike Check might be your leader here today with 11 laps to go. So this might be a huge change. Huge change as I think and we're going to wait and we're going to make sure but the 799 of Mike Check may have taken over the lead from the 25 of JTM here with 10 laps to go. Not sure yet. We're still waiting to see. And it could be that Mike is actually on the tail end of the lead lap. Yeah, so I think Mike Check is on the tail end of the lead lap. Not sure what happened to him. And I'm guessing it is a result of, you know, coming into the pit so hot. <laughs> that they scuff the outside wall. But I think Mike Check is actually going to go a lap down. So I'm looking at his previous lap was a minute 35. So I'm guessing that is the case that he actually went a lap down as a result of whatever happened getting into the pits and that he is now a lap down. So let's go through your current top 10. Your leader is... The tw with nine laps to go here, the 25 of JTM. Second's actually going to be the 96 of Nico. Third will be currently the 20 of Adam B5000. Fourth will be the 999 of Deviant. Fifth will be the 13 of King of the Aces. Sixth, actually King is not third. So you're, <clears throat> let's go through that again. Your leader is the 25 of JTM. Nine. Second's going to be the 96 of Nico. Third will be the 999 of Deviant. Fourth will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Fifth will be the 51 of AJM. Sixth will be the 72 of Duchess. Seventh will be the 300 of Resemble. Eighth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Ninth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. And running at your top 10 will actually be the 8 of Moon Bunny. So interesting, uh, interesting <laughs> how things are going. And 11th position is the double zero of Mudbone. So Mudbone has, even with that damage, has kept his car in the top 10 here today and is 14 seconds behind the leader. So I don't think he has any chance of falling. He's in turn four right now and JTM's coming out of turn two. So I don't think he has a chance of falling a lap down, but... JTM is a hot on the tail of the 49 of Jetman right now. As we see the 544 of Frederick Winklevom and the 799 of Mike Check right here. So the 96 of Nico solidly into the second position. Really, the battles on the track are between the 99. Actually, the, the battle on the track right here between the 51 and the 13. That's, that's actually not for position. Um, AJM is actually trying to keep up with the 999 of Deviant, the 20 of Adam B5000. I don't think there's enough points between Adam and Mudbone, who runs in the 11th position, for him to, to take over the points lead. So I think it's definitely coming down to the last race. With your leader, the 25 of JTM, still, I mean, again, he was 200 points out. So, I mean, it's going to be... It's going to be an exciting end to this year in the More Freedom Series. JTM to the back bumper of the 49 of Jetman. Jetman again has a little bit of damage on the right-hand side of this car. I believe that was due to contact with the 211 of Hogs. They kind of beat it out there with at that pit stop, but Jetman's going to let him go. 25 of JTM, his teammate. One more lap down here at Homestead. So about four laps to go here at Homestead for the 25 of JTM. As we do see, the 51 of AJM is able to make it around the 999 of Deviant. So that'll put MBR 1, 2, and 3 right now in the standings here today. 
And I'm looking for the 72 of Duchess, who currently runs sixth. So this is going to be a huge points day for MBR, as we do see the 20 of Adam B5000 right now battling with the 34. But this is not the only one for position right now is the 72 and the 20. Adam looks like he's about... Uh, about an entire second behind the 999 of Deviant as we do check in on Mudbone, and he is not in any danger of going a lap down here or falling out of another position unless something happens to his car. JTM comes down. Two laps to go here at Homestead for your leader, the 25 of JTM. So JTM is... Doing what he needs to do here at Homestead. He has put up about, and mostly as a result of those pit stops, has put up five seconds on second place, the 96 of Nico and the 51 of AJM. As he brings it down, he's going to get the white flag as he comes out of turn four here today at Homestead. White flag is out. One lap to go for the 25 of JTM. Let's check in on his teammates. So no chance of Nico losing the second position as JTM out of turn two for the final time here at Homestead. An absolutely amazing car and an amazing run for this 25 at JTM. He is going to need a win next week, I think, to pull off this championship. As he comes out of turn four, heading towards the stripe, your winner here today at Homestead is going to be the 25 of JTM. So an amazing race. Lots of, I mean, not very many leaders here today, but lots of battling for that lead as JTM just had an amazing car, is able to do what he needed to do. He's going to get those points. We're going to see if it is enough for him to be in a position to try to win it next week at Talladega. Let's go through your finishing top 10. Again, your winner is the 25 of JTM. Second's going to be the 96 of Nico. Third will be the 51 of AJM. Fourth will be the 999 of Deviant. Fifth will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Sixth will be the 72 of Duchess. Seventh will be the 300 of Resemble. Eighth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Ninth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 8 of Moon Bunny. Again, the double zero Mudbone, even with the damage and, area and all the adversity, finishes in the 11th today. And that may have been enough, folks. That may have been enough to knock JTM out of this championship points battle. But next week, the season finale, we head to Talladega for the Talladega 100. All right, let's check in on that all very, very, very important points to round out the almost round out the season headed into the last race so let's get your points up here on the screen and take a look at those and see where everything is shaken out and we're going to see if there is enough points and you know i'm super excited about what the last race will bring but let's check in on those points let's also let's also check in on your team and chassis standings Big day for MBR as they finish one, two, and three here today. Uh, that should almost solidify. I can't say it because anything can happen next week at Talladega. Douche Motorsports could finish top six. So, hey, that's going to do it today for the Homestead 80 here at Homestead Miami Speedway. And again, JTM is your winner. He did exactly what he needed to do to win here today at homestead and he got all the points he he could get and if he can if he is in the running and i don't know yet i haven't calculated the points you already know because you've seen them but if he's in the running for the last race we're going to see what he can do at talladega and see if there's anything he has for the double zero mud bone and the 20 of adam b5000 but congratulations again to the 25 of JTM. He is your winner here today at Homestead. And until next week for our season finale at Talladega, take care. <laughs>